I'm gonna walk you through the Band Blast app. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch the app on my iPad. The first thing that comes up is these really cool characters that we've developed just for the game. Now I'm gonna create a new player. I'm gonna hit New Player. Now I have my choice of 10 different instruments. So let's go ahead and choose, how about violin? Sure, that's good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna insert my name. Hit OK. And now I get to choose one of these five cool characters that I wanna be. So I'm gonna choose my character. Hit OK. And now I get to choose one of three blastophones, one of them being a woodwind instrument, one being a brass instrument, and another being a string instrument. So I'm going to go ahead and choose, hit OK. Now this is the character I've created, including the instrument. Hit OK. Now, Band Blast has no ads, no data collection. <clears throat> now it does ask you, if you would like to log in in order to save all your scores from the game. You don't have to. Everything will fully work 100% without ever logging in. So I'm gonna tap not now. Now you'll notice you have a few options here. So let's check out what's in the Band Blast app. Let's play a game. We have two games, rhythm game and a pitch game. Both games have a practice mode and a high score mode. Let's choose a rhythm game. Then you'll see you've got a bunch of different rhythms that you can choose from that you want to practice. From eighth notes, quarter notes, whole notes, half notes, and rest. So let's choose, let's choose number four here. Now you have three levels you can choose from. Easy, medium, or hard. So let's choose medium. Now here's the different notes that will be in this level. If you don't know what the notes mean, just click on it and it will tell you. That's a half note and it gets two beats. That's a quarter note, it gets one beat. All right, so let's go ahead and play. So what you want to do is you want to follow the rhythms above and you want to listen to the music. When you come up with the rhythm, you want to go ahead and jump and then hold up. So now it's going to go back and it's going to let me try again. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now it's a half, so I'm gonna hold it for two beats. Quarter notes get held for one beat. Rest don't get held for any beats. And you run. Now I just completed the first phrase. There's four phrases. Half note, one, two, three, four. Half notes, hold it, hold it, release. Quarter, quarter, here we go, one, two, three. Now whole notes, you gotta hold it for four beats. Now release it on the half note. Another phrase complete. And again, if I mess up, it's just gonna move me back to the closest phrase, and it's gonna let me try again. So now I'm trying to complete the level here. Ah, level complete. Good job. So now as I'm running along, and at the end it gives me, shows me exactly how well I did on each phrase. I can either retry it, I can quit, or I can go to the next level. For now, let's quit and move back. Let's go back. Now the rhythm high score game, you only get one life, and you have to try to see how far you can go. This is a great game to play with friends to see who can get the highest score. So now let's try the pitch game. The pitch game, you notice you have a bunch of different levels come up. Each level will work on a specific amount of notes. So let's go here to number one. And you have easy and hard. So let's choose easy. It says letters. So here's an E note. If I forgot an E note on my instrument, in this case a violin, all I have to do is tap it and it shows me exactly where the E note is. Okay, so let's go ahead and play. This one you need your instrument for. Now what you wanna do is match the color rock 
with the color rocks on the screen. And so in order to shoot a red rock, you're going to have to play an E note. Connect three or more note rocks and you'll destroy the rocks. But make sure you get them before they come down. So as my cursor is moving around, when I'm ready to fire, all I have to do is play an E note. So let me see if I can find an E note. La, fired, but I wasn't in the right spot. So let's try it again. Uh, bounce off the side. That's cool. Uh, oh, let me get the curse in the right spot. Uh, hey, all right. I got all three of the rocks. Okay, so now I can quit or I can keep moving on to the next level. Let's go ahead and quit so we can check out what else is in the app here. All right, so now, how about record a tune? So now you notice a bunch of different tunes come up. And you can choose from any of these tunes and notice they all have different speeds, a slow and a fast speed. So let's go ahead, let's choose, how about twinkle twinkle? Let's do the slow speed. Now. Just going to pop up a tutorial explaining how you record yourself. I'm also going to show you. So let's hit OK. Notice all the cool faders that pop up. I have alto sax, cello, clarinet, double bass. I have all the instruments that are in the app that you can play along with. So now it says drums. Check this out. Hit the drums and you got eight different cool drum styles that you can choose from. Blue shuffle, country, house, hip hop jazz, swing, rock. All right, let's say I don't want to play with one of these instruments. All I got to do is hit the button and alto sax is now muted. Let's mute the double bass. Let's say I really like the clarinet and I want to bring that volume up a little bit. I just slide the fader up. As soon as I'm ready to record, all I have to do is hit record. I get four clicks. It's going to tell you it's better to record with your headphones. That way the speaker doesn't pick up what's coming out of the app that is only going to pick up your instrument. For now, we're not going to worry about it. Four count in, and now you're playing along. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. It's showing that you're recording. Now, let's bring the clarinet down. Let's bring the trumpet up. Let's say I don't like these drum beats. Let's do a new drum. How about funk? Now I got a funk. Oh, it's a little loud. Bring down the drums. Notice we got a nice reverb here. A little bit of echo. Let's bring that up. And I'm playing along, I'm playing my instrument. Ah, we made it to the end. So now it's going to ask me, do I want to discard it? Maybe I messed up and I want to try again. Or no, I think it was good. Let's listen to it. So now here's the track that I recorded. This is my fader now. If I hit play, it's going to pick up everything that we just recorded. Notice you hear my voice right now. So again, it would be better if you use your headphones. Now, you can still do a mix here. Let's say I want to still change the drums. Drums are changed. Let's say I want to bring the bass in and I want to take the cello and the trombone out. Those are gone. And I'm going to bring the drums up a little bit. All right, so there's my final mix. I hit I'm done. And now I can hit share. And this is going to share it with, I can send it to myself, my friends, or any of my family member. And it's going to be me playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with some of the top musicians in the world. How cool is that? So let's go back for now. All right, what else do we have in this app? Watch a video. So if I hit that, notice you have a bunch of different videos that pop up. 25 videos. These videos range from about your violin, tuning, how to hold the bow, playing staccato, or how about an A major scale? So now I can choose on these. And here's now as you're playing, the notation will actually pop up right on the screen and it'll also move the cursor along with you so you can see exactly where you are. How cool is that? So you can choose any of the 25 videos to watch for. All right, now what is this top thing? It's the first thing you see here, it's called missions. Now the missions, notice there's 20 different missions. Each mission has a star in it. We currently have zero stars. What our goal is to is to go through the missions and gain as many points as we can. So let's choose mission seven. In mission seven, you have one, two, three, four, five things that pop up. You gotta watch a video. 
You gotta watch the video. At the end of the video, you gotta answer some questions. Those questions, if you get them right, you'll get points. And that will help towards your total. Next, you have to play the rhythm game. Notice, you can get up to three stars playing the rhythm game. Then, you have to record a tune, in this case, Hot Cross Buns. Fourth thing is, play another level of the rhythm game. And then the last thing is, record another tune. Now, each mission is different. And they'll have a variety of different things. For example, Mission 10 has a couple levels of the pitch game you got to play. So your goal is to go through every mission, play every aspect, game, or tune, record a tune, or watch a video and get through all 20 missions and gain as many points as you can. So this is a Band Blast app. This is going to be a perfect app for beginning band and orchestra musicians of any age. Check out bandblast.com and tell a friend.